guys, this is Miko from Miko Love Sharks HD, and today we have the Lego Lone Ranger Constitution Train Chase. This is set number 79111. It has 699 pieces. It's recommended for ages 8 to 14, and it has this cost, and it reads, and it costs about a hundred dollars when it came out. Um, it it came out last year in April. Um, you get 20 pieces of train track and seven mini figures: the Lone Ranger, Tonto, Danny Reed, Rebecca Reed, Lone Ranger, Tonto, and a whole host of characters. Here's the front of your box, and it shows your mini figs on the top. And there's the back of the box. And there's the back of the box. So let's move into the close-up so I can show you all the minifigs and all the details. Of course. So let's start with fun young ladies first. All right, so first up is Rebecca Reed, and she is exclusive to this set. <clears throat> like I said, a lot of figures are exclusive to this set, and lots of surprise, you'll be surprised with some of the head molds. Um, um, Rebecca Reed. Anyway, Rebecca Reed has a nice dress piece. Um, she has two faces, an angry face and a scared face. Next up is Latham Cole. Now, Latham Cole, is, now he's one of the bad guys, not the main bad guy. But he is a, he's, like I said, he's also exclusive to this set. A little bit of back printing, not, not on the head you see there. I kind of like that hat and that shotgun that you get. Everyone's size took the, towards the handle, that's fun. But these are just the old style western shotguns that they have done. Your eight balls are going to love that. Now next up here is Tonto, as you can see. It's a very cool minifigure. The head is all one piece, so like the like a lot of the Jack Sparrow stuff, and we do have a timer before the train explodes. It seems that will be the case. We got a little shovel there, and you got one in black connected to the train, and we get a crow on his head as well. And that is removable. As you can see on the top of his head, has a little hole. That's where the crow goes in. So you can see there, it might be hard to see with my camera. I see there's a little hole that's where the crow goes into. Now I removed his hair and his equipment so you can see the better printing on the chest and the legs, a little bit on the back and double sided face. He has a main face and a scared face. As you can see, this is a very common figure. This Tonto figure is in five, six other sets, only one of them, Silver Mine Shootout. Next up is Danny Reed. He's got the short legs. Obviously, this is a kid. This is the son of Rebecca Reed. How we looked a few moments ago. Maybe he's got a slingshot. That is a printed piece, by the way, not a sticker. Um, 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 um. Let's see. Oh, and he may be in this scene. He may be helping the good guys get the bad guys by using his slingshot. He has a main face and a freaked out face. And here's the big guy, the Lone Ranger. And he looks great. He's my first set I reviewed with him. He comes with his two revolvers there. And um, he's got a star and pretty much everything. And on the back, and the classic Lone Ranger look, great printing on both the legs and the torso. He's also in the Silver Mine shootout, and um, let me see it, but this is actually, in fact, the normal standard version. And here is Butch Cavendish. He is the main villain, as you can see, he comes with two dark gray, charcoal gray revolvers there. Great printing on the front, great printing on the black hat, dark clothes. Um, we don't know how the movie's gonna go, but his face is filled with cuts and blood and dirt, whatever that is. As I mentioned earlier about how the head molds in this set are fantastic. They get Tonto on, and this is right here, which is the hair is included in it. He has, a face. he has two faces, a face with a beard and a face without a beard, without the beard. Um, um, uh, something else to know, those revolvers are 
they're like a gunmetal color where the Lone Rangers were a lighter silver. And lastly, we have Captain J. Fuller. The militia, the, he's part of the militia, militia the cavalry, because with the sword, the holster for it, some decent printing. As I mentioned, the hand mold has the hair belt into the hat there. So this is the same one in the set with Tonto, Witch Cavendish, and now Captain J. Fuller, gray molds of their head. And we got two sided head print, and this is the other side. And here is the Lone Ranger horse. I put the Lone Ranger on there. This is silver, the white horse, and he stands up on two legs, which is a very nice future about this. The water tower here, because inside are watercolored cylinder pieces. But there's a dynamite future. And you've got the great feet looking bush, the dead bush. Um, if you push this lever in the back, Out falls the water. Something else you'll notice is this pile of rock, and yes, that's more dynamite. And there's another feature here. We push this back piece here. Um, as we, um, you can detach it or attach it. As we push that down, we're gonna push. If you push this lever in the back right here, when you, when you. If when you pull it down, those bricks break out. All right, on to the train. We're going to show you these car by car. I'm going to show you. You've seen them. You've seen the dynamite features, and um, there's one more. I'll get to that before we get to the train tracks. Um, um, there's a steam, and there's a little little bell on top of it. Uh, it says TC double R Transcontinental Railroad. Um, inside, let me get Tonto out of the way. Um, it really leads to nothing. Um, if you don't know it's there, it's really easy to mess. Now let's show you the coal car. Now I'll show you the coal car. Um, it says Constitution on there, which is a sticker. Tonto, there's a little, another shovel. Um, Inside is nothing where Danny can hide. Um, um, it's like a coal compartment, probably. Here is a cannon car. Inside, there's a barrel and there's matches in there. There's a little bottle, grayish bottle. Um, we'll keep Latham coal on there. Um, inside, we've got next to the matchings. The, I think these are crystals, I think, which I'm not which I'm not real crazy about. Um, um, and next we have this gun. If we do this, that makes the cannon move like this, like that. All right, here's the final car. And the Lone Ranger is riding on top, which is kind of nice. Um, inside, we've got, they kind of lock the prisoners up. And um, inside, there's one more dynamite feature. If you push this, If you um, press this but press this lever in the back, it, it it opens. This can actually open. Um, inside, I don't know if you can tell, and there there's a little gate where they trap their trap trap the good guys up. All right, everybody. So here's all the train tracks put together. Now I said. I said at the very end of the video, I'll show you what it looks like on the track, just like I promised. Um, this is a cool feature. Um, I would have liked it to be motorized, like um, Jason did with the brick shell. Okay, that does it for this, the Constitution Train Chase. This is my first, re first review of it. Please leave a comment down below and like this video, press that like button, and tell your friends about Miko of Sharks HC on, here on YouTube. And um, follow us on Facebook. Don't forget to share on Facebook, too. Thanks for watching. See you next time. See you next time. Say bye.